and welcome back to the studio. In today's class, we're going to be tackling the range of movement known as dorsiflexion of the foot. And this is a range of motion that I find lots of people really, really struggle with. Um, and the reason being is that most people spend most of their lives wearing shoes that are higher at the back than they are at the front. So if you think about probably, unless you wear specifically barefoot trainers or barefoot shoes, um, if you think about your pair of trainers, they are likely to be higher at the back than they are at the front. And I spend lots of time explaining why this is so problematic when it comes to wanting to be able to maintain pain-free movement throughout the body. Because if your foot is constantly stuck in a state of plantar flexion, so that's kind of what our shoes are doing when they're higher at the back than they are at the front, and obviously you get different degrees of this. So your trainers might be this. I mean, if you've got hockers, they might be like that. I have very strong opinions on how bad hockers are. And then if you've got your stilettos, your feet might be more in this type of position. But either way, we are on this kind of spectrum of plantar flexion where the toes are higher, sorry, lower than the ankle. And this means that when this person walks, runs, squats, does anything with the feet stuck in this position, they are never taking the ankle truly through this movement here, which is dorsiflexion. So we've got plantar flexion, which is the kind of the top of the foot and the toes pointing away. And then we've got dorsiflexion, which is the top of the foot drawing backwards. Notice, and I'm gonna mention this a number of times throughout today's class, dorsiflexion is not just pulling your toes back towards you. So lots of people, when they think they're flexing their feet, they're actually still keeping their feet in plantar flexion with the toes flexing back, which is different, whereas dorsiflexion is the top of the foot moving towards the shin so that we get that kind of like 90 degree angle at the ankle. So yeah, if we're always wearing shoes that are slightly higher at the back than they are at the front, we don't take the foundation of our body regularly through that full kind of range of movement at the foot like we are designed to when we walk basically. So today's class, be prepared for hopefully lots of stuff going on, especially around the fronts of your shins because they are the muscles that pull the foot back towards um, the body. You might get lots of stretching in your calves, but you may also get kind of work and stuff going on through your calves. And the other good thing is, for those of you who have eternally tight hamstrings, dorsiflexion is a key component to mobilizing the hamstrings as well. So we might get some strong hamstring stretches today. 